Um Darwish says, in our country, there is a practice that behind the curtain, a boy will lead the congregation of ladies in taraweeh, mostly in someone's house. By, by participating in such a congregation, will one be able to get the reward of praying the whole night behind the imam or praying alone at home is better? Please advise. First of all, the hadith where the Prophet said, والسلام, he who prays with his Imam until he is through or until he's over from his prayers, then he will be rewarded as if he had prayed the whole night. This hadith is regarding a person who prays in the masjid because this is what Imam refers to. Otherwise, each one of us would have a congregation in the house and would not pray taraweeh. And this is why it's an issue of dispute among scholars, whether praying taraweeh in the masjid is best or praying it home, which one? Some say, no, without doubt, praying it in the masjid is the best. It's the ultimate because of the congregation, because it's easier for you when you pray it in the masjid, because it's a sunnah that was taught to us by the Prophet والسلام, himself. Others say, no, praying it alone in the house is better, providing you do not fear that missing the prayer in congregation would impact negatively the congregation. Because if each one of us prayed home and nobody offered the taraweeh in the masjid, we would have abandoned a sunnah. So they say it's conditional depending on the situation. However, the most authentic opinion is that praying it in the masjid with the congregation, like the Prophet had done والسلام, for three or four nights in the beginning, this is more rewarding and more uh, uh, recommended. Now, for women to gather in a house, leave their homes and go to a house, it's the same thing as going to a masjid. So what is best? No, pray in your home. But if there are a lot of women in the same house and they bring a qari, someone who memorizes the Quran and he has a good voice so that he would lead them, this is permissible because it was reported that some of the female companions used to do this and used to instruct her slave to lead them in prayer. And hence, this is uh, permissible, insha'Allah. 